Here in his Geneva home where he's been living for the past 60 years, Armand Rolfaux is trying to enjoy a well-earned retirement. This 85-year-old former mechanic spends his days reading and gardening. It's a nice, quiet life if it weren't for one slight detail. A plane taking off makes a terrible noise. They often fly right over my home, which is very noisy, and as the house is made of wood, it makes the wood vibrate. So here in Armand's garden, like in a dozen other places around the airport, the local resident society has set up a microphone to measure the noise pollution. Every sound caught by the microphone is measured and automatically transferred to a website which publishes the results. That makes it possible to work out that the 89 decibels measured in Armand's garden that day, equivalent to the sound of a lawnmower, came from a Continental Airlines Boeing 764. Here at Villaroche, south of Paris, engineers are working on making plane engines that produce less noise. This is a CFM 5.6-5 engine which you find on the Airbus A320. In order to reduce noise on this kind of machine, you need to increase the diameter of the blower for the sake of efficiency. But it also means a lot of work needs to be done internally on the acoustic panels. We need to improve the quality of the acoustic panels that you see here. Over the past 40 years, jet engine makers have managed to reduce the sound of plane engines by two-thirds. We have to follow the goals set by the European Union, which are to reduce noise by a half by 2020 from 2000 levels. In order to do this, engineers are working on research programs along with universities across Europe. Here at the Federal Polytechnic School of Lausanne, researchers have developed what looks like one of the most promising solutions using loudspeakers. Instead of using the loudspeakers to make noise, we use them to absorb it. We want to apply this to jet engines. But as I don't have an engine available, I suggest we go into the reverberation room to see how it works. In this room, noise reverberates and can reach 110 decibels. But when you set up the special loudspeakers, that drops to 94. A loudspeaker is a mechanical resonator which reacts all the more to its own frequency, which is a frequency which causes it to vibrate a lot. By doing this, it's able to absorb a bit of sound energy, so the acoustic wave, which makes the membrane vibrate, is somewhat lost in the mechanical process. Imagine you're playing football and you receive a ball. If you stiffen up, the ball will bounce off you. But if you follow the movement, you'll absorb it. Well, that's exactly what happens with the loudspeaker and the acoustic wave. These loudspeaker membranes, which capture sound energy, will be reproduced on a miniature scale and integrated into the sides of the engine. Equipped with an electrical system, these small loudspeakers will even be able to adapt to the different frequencies emitted during takeoff and landing. Well, that would be a step in the right direction, says Armand. But Armand's going to have to be very patient, as it's estimated the new technology won't be around for another decade, and anyway, no law obliges jet makers to update their engines.